The federal government is helping Tennesseans get off SNAP and get the jobs they need to put food on their tables. This new initiative hopes to put tens of thousands of people back to work. And new tonight, our Kimberly Davis explains how our state is leading the way for the rest of the country. Kimberly. Roy, that's right. Tennessee was selected as one of the 10 states to receive this federal funding and hopes to get people off SNAP and ultimately make them self-sufficient. And Tennessee is hoping to be the model state in the country to get the other states on board. Oftentimes you'll hear people talk about people don't want to work and things of that nature and they own these programs. We're trying to change that paradigm to say, look, that's not the case. And that's what the USDA, Tennessee Department of Labor and Workforce Development, as well as DHS are trying to change. The federal government is funding participants in the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program to get the training they need to make enough money to be self-sufficient. I had odd jobs. I was just doing odd jobs just to make it. Versus being with SNAP, going through this training, now I can ask for a certain amount of money and get it. Kevin Ford tells us that this program has totally changed his life and it all started in a classroom. So that you, the applicant, have a better idea of what to expect. Now he is able to provide for his family in ways he could not before. Able to provide, able to help pay bills, not just be able to say, well, I'm here. You might also think about industries you're interested in. Or Participants in the federal job. program must all go through this three-hour course for job search training, and then they will the receive personalized plans to get them to their career goal. And many of these jobs are willing to pay. In some cases, forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollar jobs in a short period of time. Ultimately, the more people that get back to work, help people put food we'll on their on tables, and get the economy and the state moving general. forward. Tennessee is hoping to get more than 46,000 people jobs through this training, and this federal funding will last for the next two years. For now, we are live in the newsroom. I'm Kimberly Davis, News Channel 5.